Welcome everybody, Nobi here with my beginner's guide for Joke Mod. If you missed my what the hell is Joke Mod feature dive, then take a look at the link above or in the description. First off, don't panic. It is not as bad as it may seem. Yes, the mod may have some nutty and crazy weirdness going on, but it's not all that bad. As Rizzo the developer says, Joke Mod is 85% a joke, 10% serious, and 5% butterscotch ripple. So have fun and hopefully enjoy the ride. From a setting point of view, in the menu, what you have played in vanilla, I would suggest you just stick with that in the mod. I usually play on higher than 60 minutes and longer days. Experience doesn't seem to rock the game stage too much and too fast, so even increasing this would not be a problem. I always recommend beginners in most mods to have a loot abundance of at least 150%. And in joke mod, you'll rely on loot a lot at times. RNG can play a big role in finding things, schematics and recipes. So definitely ramp this up to 150% at least as a beginner. I would suggest 16 or so zombies initially for Horde Knight or 8 if you are playing co-op. Just so that you can get used to how the variety of monsters are and you can jack this up later. First up, you will wake up in the world and I would suggest the first thing that you do is start your initial quests. They will request that you craft a plant fiber knife and axe. However, besides these, also craft the other plant fiber armor, tools and weapons. Craft what you can with the fiber and wood lying around and then you can continue with the quest which is generally off to the trader. Once you have done with the starter quest, you can continue with the main joke mod quests. They are basically an issue of collecting things or killing particular creatures, so you can do them in your own time. There are some things that you may struggle with to be able to get hold of, so don't expect to complete those particular joke mod quests too quickly, or certainly not in the first day or so. This mod allows you to pick up stuff. Anything from boxes, fridges, stoves, crates to lights. Just hold the E key on any item and see if you can pick it up. This is a great thing to know as it will help you initially with obtaining enough storage space to dump your crap into. Also one of the early quests require you to pick up lanterns so it is an easy way to get those lanterns and POIs. So you don't have to bother with burning torches as well. There are two ailments or things in the game that you will need to get used to. Stink is part of the mod. It happens whether you like it or not and while you're out exploring and killing stuff you will increase your stink level by quite a bit. So you'll start to smell really bad. You can craft items later in the game but initially I would suggest looking into places like urinals to hopefully find things to lower your stink. Toilets will often mainly provide you with paper. My stink usually was at the maximum around 40 to 50%, so I don't know what happens if you go beyond that, but it isn't too much of a problem in those initial lower percentages. Read the journal entry on this as it does have some useful information. For the most part, the journal is mainly like vanilla info, so it doesn't cover that much you may not know. The other ailment is like playing Russian roulette. Most food items have a chance to give you dysentery or the shits. So you are playing the game of chance with your food every time you put something into your mouth. It's not Darkness Falls dysentery, so don't expect to die from it. It is part of the mod and you'll just happen to get it every now and then. But it gets less as the game progresses as you get better food. So always look on the bright side of life. If it smells pretty rotten, look for a dysentery cure. Extra soft toilet paper is definitely a way to help you out at the start of the game. You'll also be provided with a few items when you wake up on day one. Farming in Joke Mod has two options. You either treat it like vanilla, you can make farm plots, place them and add your seeds to these plots. Or you can hoe the land with a hoe, then plant your crops on that soil. Rizzo does recommend using farm plots for this however. Still, if you wish to do the hoeing method, you will need your trusty hoe. Then just hoe the soil by right clicking it on it with your mouse. Plant your seeds and you will be done. If the seeds cannot be planted, they will appear in red and you can't place them. Like vanilla, no water is required, the plants just grow and you keep harvesting them. Thankfully we don't have to replant the seeds, so a big thanks to Rizzo for this convenience. Here are the seeds of the eggplant. Take note of them. It is a very important plant in joke mod. I would suggest that you get that plant as soon as possible, plant it, you'll love it. Things in joke mod can be a bit upside down at times. Where finding a cooking pot or grill is something that you do in the first week, it is now swapped around with the forge. Pay attention to what is required in your campfire, as these are the items that are required for just cooking some bacon and eggs, and it's not a bug. 
there are two other food workstations, the wood-burning stove and the working microwave. The wood-burning stove is similar to a campfire, while the microwave has quite a few unique items that you can make. A lot of these are hidden behind schematics and recipes, so you'll need to get out there and explore and find them. Looting bookstores is also recommended in your first week. Thankfully, when it comes to a number of the workbenches, even though you do need to find a schematic, Rizzo has provided a way out for certain important crafting stations. Broken forges, broken chemistry stations, workbenches, and also cement mixes can actually be picked up, and adding them to other materials, you can craft these workstations without a schematic. The drawback is that a lot more materials are required to make them. Still, I think this is a good balance. If you're used to vanilla when it comes to your general crafting stations, then you will be right at home with joke mod crafting. It is really only the forge that currently has an additional advanced forge. You can still do most things on the regular forge, such as steel, but if you wish to go with the gore-related items, which is your most advanced material in joke mod, then you will need to use the advanced forge. The advanced forge is also faster, but outside of that, you can stick to the regular forge for quite a while. As forges are wood burning, they will draw in screamers sooner or later. The traders are not indestructible, and you are more than welcome to use them as a base. You cannot place a claim block there, but as you already can pick up items, placing some of the things in the trader isn't a problem if you need to relocate them. However, your crafting stations will be stuck wherever you place them, so design carefully with your crafting workbenches. Other than that, a trader is fine to live in. The first few nights you can easily hang out in a trader. Just stay quiet and you will unlikely be bothered. There are some fun vehicles in Joke Mod, which you will get to learn over time. At the start, I recommend that you go out and you kill snails as much as possible. They don't fight back and have a chance to drop a snail chassis, which can easily be made into a vehicle. Not the fastest ride, but has some pretty good storage and is better than running around in the early game. It also seats two, so great for playing with a friend. Snails are not the only animals that can drop a chassis, so keep killing various animals as you never know what you may end up finding. Mining is very similar to vanilla, so not much to concern yourself here. Nodes appear on the surface and you can also pick them up on the map. So. Iron, nitrate, coal, for example, can be seen on the map as small icons. Just find the rock node and then dig down further for the main node and expand further from there. When it comes to monsters, be aware that besides vultures, there are quite a few flying pests in Joke Mod. Lieutenant Dan has a cousin that likes to sneak up on you from the air. My first death in Joke Mod was thanks to him. Easy to kill, but do not underestimate the sneaky little bastard zombie. From day one, you will get molested by an annoying kid. This annoying kid is difficult to kill, but does very low damage. In those early days when you are doing very little damage, it can take quite a while to kill him, so I tend to just run away and leave him be when possible. This is not Darkness Fall, so don't expect the wandering hordes to be too difficult. In fact, in the early game, I sometimes was unsure if a group of monsters was even a wandering horde. Still, they are a great experience when you do actually see them. As time goes on, you'll get all sorts of zombies coming at you, and different sizes. Vanilla bases do work well with Joke Mod, but the different sizes of monsters can be a problem and can mess with how the mechanics of a horde base will function. My first base was just some cobblestone frames attached to the water tower or a reservoir. I could easily shoot down at the zombies and throw some molotovs. Later it just progressed to having half a cage around it due to flying monsters. Nothing extravagant and it has been used now up until day 70 or so. I tended to make a lot of ammunition as I prefer guns over melee weapons. It was only a problem on the first horde night as I initially struggled to find ammo in joke mod. Later in the game, you'll start getting many bears, gummy bears, and large creatures, so you'll need to have more awesome firepower. This can take quite a while, so you can go for weeks with relatively quieter horde knights. The finger gun is a great early weapon and can be used for quite a long time. Nails for the finger gun are an easy iron and clay conversion and don't take much to make. The problem with them in the early game is the making and crafting of the hand repair kits. This is probably the only snag with them, so I moved to using the PAR machine guns quite quickly. Later in the game, I found that my M60 was pretty supreme in all things that involves completely chewing through monsters. Playing on warrior difficulty, my M60 made short work of the legs of demolishers in no time, especially with blessed metal and a drum magazine mod attached. 
You will eventually find the forest biome weak for horde knights and you will crave higher loot stages. My suggestion is that you must go to the snow or wasteland biomes. This is the only way that you're going to get much higher loot stages. And the jump is pretty high so my recommendation is to definitely get there as soon as possible. Eventually you can move your horde base to either of these biomes for better loot and a better chance for one of those cute fuzzy little friends. A lot of changes are expected in version 3 of Joke Mod and Alpha 21. Quite a few key concepts, skills and ways of doing things will be trashed and either replaced or made deeper, including a lot more monsters. So, until then, enjoy the uniqueness of Joke Mod, and I will see you in the next one.